Sooty and Co. Everybody say hello! There's Sooty and Sweep, a panda called Sue, and little cousin Scampy too. They'll be fun galore with the terrible four. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Aftershave? Pardon? Aftershave, yes. Hang on a minute, just a minute. Uh, I think it's in here somewhere. Uh, yep, uh, just a minute. Aftershave. Tick that off, Sooty, okay? Um, Tick it off. Hairbrush? Hairbrush? Hairbrush, hairbrush, hairbrush. Um, oh, it's here. There we are. Hairbrush. Tick that off, Sooty. Tick it off. Oh, hello there. Hey, listen, it's nothing to do with the fact that you've just arrived, but actually, I'm just leaving. All right. You don't have to rub it in, Matthew. No, all right. Perhaps I'd better explain. You see, I am going away for the weekend, and this lot, well, uh, they're not very pleased about it. <laughs> Can't you come with me? Sweep, for the hundredth time, no, you cannot come with me. This is my weekend, arranged by me, for me, OK? You lot are going to have to stay here. If you want to go away for a weekend on your own, then all you have to do is organise it. You see, that's the difference between me and them. I'm just so organised and they're disorganised. Uh, Matthew, yes, sir. ten seconds to ten. What? Oh, yes, I'm leaving at ten o'clock precisely. Three, two, one. There we are. Ten o'clock precisely. Now, that's what I call being organised. See you later. Hey, ho. Sooty and Co. Everybody say hello, hello. The Sooty and Sweet and dear little Sue, a little cousin. Well, Scamp. there we are. He's gone. <laughs> you thought he was meant to be organised? <laughs> well, he thinks he is Sweet, but the truth is, I've never known anyone less organised. Got the key, Sooty? Hi, it's me again. <laughs> I don't suppose that anybody's seen my uh... ah. The keys! Can't go without them. Thanks very much. Bye! Bye! Hey, ho, sooty and co. Everybody say hello. Uh, phone, please, sweep. <laughs> Thank you. In the nick of time, too. <sighs> Forgotten something, Matthew? Well, no, not exactly, Sue. It's just that I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, ho, Sooty and Co. Everybody say hello. The Sooty and Sweet and Dear. The... Oh, that man, he couldn't organise a jam sandwich. <laughs> I've just organised myself a jam sandwich. Look at this. This is a life. Hey, do you know what these boats are called? They're called narrow boats, and I love them. This is where I'm going to spend my weekend away, on board this little beauty, all on my own. This is the reward you get for being organised, and you could learn a lesson from this. It pays to be organised. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Forgot to put the jam and the butter on. <laughs> Silly me. Never mind. The ducks will enjoy them. Oh, what were we talking about? Yes, being organised. Now, you see, that is the basic difference between me and uh, that lot back there. Because I am so organised and they are just so disorganised. Now, that's what I call being organised. We've got our entire stock of brass ornaments cleaned, polished, counted and priced up in no time. <laughs> That's because we each had a job. You're right, Sweep. Scampy put the polish on, you rubbed the polish in, Sooty took the polish off with his duster, and I put the price tags on. We've done a good job here. Um, can you get the portable phone, please, Sooty? Who am I going to ring? No one, Sweep, but Matthew's been gone for over an hour now, and I thought that... Ah, there we are. Ahem. Yes, Matthew? Oh, just a wild guess. Now, what's the problem? <gasps> oh, no. Really? <laughs> He's run out of fuel. <laughs> now, now, now just, just calm down, Matthew. Yes, now, where are you? Yes, 
Yes, I know it, yes. Just by Portland Basin. Yes. Yes, I'll get Sooty and Sweet to bring it straight away. Well, you heard him. Run out of fuel. You'd better go and sort him out. <laughs> And so, because I had run out of fuel, which wasn't my fault, by the way, somebody must have come along and taken the fuel out of the tank. I mean, it was full. Anyway, Sooty and Sweet were now on their way. Right, very funny, sweet, very funny. Listen, anybody can run out of fuel. You thought I was meant to be so well organised? Well, actually, I am incredibly well organised. I can't help it if somebody comes along and steals my fuel. What, Sooty, what do you want? What is it? You want to have a go at driving the boat? No, you can't have a go at driving the boat. Please, never mind, please. Go on, back to the camper. Go on, the pair of you skedaddle. Go on. And it's no good you feeling sorry for them, because if they want to have a weekend aboard a boat, they can jolly well organise it like I did. Oh, hang on, don't forget the fuel can. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Sissy, but I was just saying to this lot that if you want to go on a boat for the weekend, then I'm afraid you will just have to organise it for yourself. Where are the, uh, where are the bungee thingies? Ah. Right, the can's strapped down safely, so everything is shipshape and Bristol fashion. Off you go, boys. Have a nice drive. Drive safely. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Bye. And so now, it's back to the jolly old boat. <laughs> what have I done with the, uh, with the keys? <laughs> And I went to the camper and I reached up for the bungee things. Woo! They're on the camper roof! Go! Hello, boys. Now don't bother to get out. Mm. Why? Mm. Because I've just had Captain Organization mm. on the phone. Apparently, he's left the boat keys. Mm. Where? Mm. Well, on your roof, he says. Oh, there they are. Drop them, Scampy. Thank you. Well, here you are, sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, sorry, Sooty, but can you take them to Captain Organisation? Mm. <coughs> Will you let go of Sooty, what came over you? You wanted to have a drive of the boat? Well, I'm sorry, but you can't. This is my boat, I hired it, and I'm going to drive it, OK? <coughs> no, Sweep, you cannot come. <coughs> what? You'd lend a hand? <coughs> Sooty, I think I'm quite capable of taking this boat on my own, thank you very much, so you two can just <coughs> hop it. <coughs> go on, off you go. And if you want to hire a boat, then you can jolly well organise it. Like I did. It's a life on the ocean waves, a life on the ocean waves. Da 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 What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? A lie in the morning chip. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. I'm in that business with a can. Anyway, never mind. Fortunately, I had a towel handy. This is what comes of being organised, of course. And now you must excuse me because I have a lock gate to open. <laughs> Hold it, boys.
Rose, hold it. Mm. Why? It's Captain Organisation. He's just been on the phone again. <laughs> What's he forgotten this time? Mm. Oh, nothing, sweet. Mm. Oh, will you stop doing that, Scampy? He just can't open the locked gates. Will you go and help him? Scampy, mm. will you please get down off that roof at once? <laughs> It's not exactly my fault that the wretched thing's stuck, is it? I mean, normally, locks like this are no problem at all to um, an experienced boater like me. But this one, well, I just can't shift it. So, look, I really am grateful that you've come back. Really, honestly, I am. I'll count one, two, three. We'll all push together, and that should do the trick. Agreed? After three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Push! 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 Whoa, 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 stop, whoa. This, this is getting us nowhere. And I think, I think I know the reason why not. Because your feet aren't touching the ground. No wonder I couldn't feel the difference. <laughs> you think Susie could open the gate on his own? Don't be ridiculous, of course he couldn't. You couldn't open that gate on your own, could you, Susie? You can. Of course, when Sooty said, on his own, he didn't really mean on his own. He meant on his own with the help of the camper van. Now, this is a different matter. This is what I call being organised. OK, Sooty, hit it! Do you want the good news or the bad news? Well, the bad news is it took me half an hour to wash all that mud off my shirt. But the good news is that we managed to get the lock gate open and finally we are once again on our way. And do you know something? I am loving it. Just loving it. Poor old Sissy and Sweep are so worn out with all that pushing that they've decided to have a little sleep down in the cabin. Actually, I'm a bit tired too, so uh, I'm just looking for a place to stop and moor up, so I can have 40 winks. Ah, now that looks like the ideal place. Excuse me. <laughs> there we are. A double sheep shank granny overhand loop. That should do the trick. So here we are, all moored up. Actually, Sooty and Sweep were very, very helpful. They went off exploring in a little wood over there. Couldn't have been more helpful. So now it's time for me to have those 40 winks I was talking about. <laughs> so there was I having a nice little snooze, and there was this other boat coming towards me, and it was flying a flag. Flying a flag? That's a funny thing for a canal boat to be doing. What sort of flag is it? <sighs> The skull and crossbones, the Jolly Roger. But this flag can only mean one thing, a pirate ship. Ha-ha, me mateys, be lay there in a vast. Shiver me timbers and splice me mizzen mast. Oh, sing me a song of salty canals with water lap in the bank. It feels like a laugh, so I'll find someone daft and I'll make him walk the plank. Ha-ha, ha-ha, ha-ha. Army hearties, what do we have here? A land blubber, I'll be bound. I'll just pop a little warning shot across his bows and see if we can't make him sit up. <laughs> what? what was that? <laughs> well, that made him sit up all right. And now let's see if we can make him sit down again. <laughs> I can't believe this! It's a... it's a... it's a pirate! Car! Forget the cannon, my dearios! Tis time for... the splat gun! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! One, two, three! Oh, 
Oh, ha, ha. I lost my splat gun so much, I'm going to share it with him. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I call being well and truly splattered. <laughs> Just a minute. This isn't funny. <laughs> I've, I've got something in my eye. <laughs> Hello? Uh, look, uh, the, the game's over. Can't see, eh? Well, I suppose it'll save the need for a blindfold. Stand by, me hearties, to board the enemy. I heard that. What do you What do you mean, board the enemy? What do you mean? Huh? Well, it's like this, land blubber. Oh. I'm a pirate of the high canals, oh. and what I'm a doing is making you walk the jolly old gangplank. Organise your way out of that, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> now get ye moving before I splats you again. No, 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 no. Please, please don't do that. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> uh, what is it? What? Who dares to interrupt me when I'm just about to plank someone? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, no. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. No. You have. That's it, Sooty. Well done, Sooty. <laughs> You're a clever little bear. Well done. <laughs> oh. Get him, Sooty. Go. Get him again. Good boy. Go on, Sooty. Go on. Splat him. Yeah. 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 What's, what, what's going on? I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Just a minute, just a minute. You mean, you mean uh, I've been actually having a dream? You mean there are no pirates? Really? Well, Sooty, I, I don't care if it was a dream. You are the hero of the day. I'm very grateful that you came to my rescue, and because I am so grateful, I'm going to let you choose what we do for the rest of the day. Now we can go wherever you want and do whatever you want. Just you say the word. What? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <clears throat> Sooty says he wants to go somewhere where there's water, sand, ice cream, and a pier. Sweep, go and cast off at the front. Sooty, go and take the tiller. Ha-ha! Water, sand, ice cream, and a pier. They don't call me Captain Organization for nothing. Cast off! They wanted to go somewhere that had a pier, didn't they? So here we are in Wigan, Lancashire, which is one of the only places on the canals to actually have a pier. Well, it must have a pier, because look, it says so. See? Wigan Pier. So, we found the pier. I've got the ice cream. Oh, and uh, as for the sand, look over there. <sighs> Happy now, boys? So am I. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Look at this. I've got a bucket and a spade. Oh, I do like buckets and spades. Do you know, I haven't done this for donkey's years.